Today I want to do a review on this new bike we ordered. It's a Ming D 27 bead mountain bike. It's 26 inch and it has disc brakes. It's going to require some assembly, but I don't imagine it'll be too difficult. But let's get started. This is what you see after opening the top of the box. All the parts seem to be tightly held together so that nothing rattles around in the box. As expected, the tires are going to need some air. Alright, let's get these parts out of here. Okay, I cut the box along one corner and laid the box flat. This is exactly how the parts are packed together. Everything seems protected and nothing's damaged, so that's good. Okay, now I've removed all the zip ties and foam that were holding it together and I laid all the parts out that need to be assembled. I also wanted to show you that it does come with all the tools you need for assembly. It comes with instructions too, but they're not very useful as they are in Chinese. Um, it has a few pictures on where to start, but really difficult to follow. However, there are some very helpful people on YouTube that provide a detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together a bike straight out of a box. There are several really good instructional videos out there on bike assembly. Okay, the bike is now put together. I'll show you basically what I did. First, I put the seat on the frame. It's pretty simple. It just goes, you just put it in place and there's a little locking lever. So, easy. Next, I installed the bike pedals. They just screw on. It's really simple. The next thing I installed was the front wheel. It also installs with a lever. This makes it very easy to quickly remove your front wheel if you need to. One thing you have to remember when installing the front wheel is to make sure that the brake disc slides between the two brake pads, but otherwise using the lever makes it really simple. Next I installed the handlebar using these four hex nuts. I just centered the handlebar using the crosshairs imprinted on the handlebar itself. Also. I tried to make sure that the brakes were tilted downward at a 45 degree angle for comfortable braking. Next I inflated the tires to about 55 psi, which was within the recommended range. Lastly I installed the water bottle holder as well as the fenders. The chain didn't need to be oiled as it already comes greased from the factory. One thing that I thought was cool was that this bike comes with shocks that you can turn on or off depending on your need. And it comes with this kickstand. Not all bikes come with a kickstand and this, this one's pretty cool. Also a bonus that I didn't see in the Amazon ad was that it comes with a compass and a bell. This is what the final bike looks like. And it wasn't too hard to put together. It took maybe um, 30 minutes total maybe it would take less for someone more experienced than me but we've driven it around the neighborhood and it rides really well it, we didn't have to make too many adjustments it, it was great so i'll leave you with some video of it in action but all in all it's a pretty great bike